folks, what can I tell you about depression? Kicking off, statistically speaking, one in five of you are gonna get it. One in five of you has had it and didn't even know you had it when you had it. Nearly all of you know someone who's got it, and I bet none of you ain't ever gonna talk to nobody, no soul about it. You see, this illness called depression, it ain't choosy about whose door is gonna knock on, man. From the successful businessman to the carefree student, from the young and in love to the happy and overjoyed. I had changed personality from this positive, optimistic, self-confident guy to quite the reverse. Bye, bye. The way I've looked at depression is that it's just something that's wrong with my mental health, just like something that could be wrong with my physical health. It just kind of sneaks up on you, and then it just stops you being able to do things that you would normally do, and it doesn't go away. And it doesn't matter what you do, it just doesn't go away. It's a black hole, and once you're in it, you can't get out of it. It's not something that you can just think, oh, well, today I won't be depressed. Today I, today I will be mostly happy. You know, you can't do that. All these people have had it, got over it, and had it again. Come, let me prove to you that this world of depression ain't as depressing as you might think. Let us begin our journey into some friends of mine's good days and bad days. <laughs> this illness doesn't always drag you down. It can also surprisingly make you feel elated, energetic, and oddly enough, on top of the world. Oh yeah, this is what happened to my girl Liz. You know Liz? You know that girl at work who's bright and bubbly, full of enthusiasm, hardworking and social? Well, that's Liz. Except Liz had a secret that she kept from her colleagues. This honey's got what you call manic depression. It took years to diagnose me as actually having manic depression, not depression. But if you look back, you can see all these kind of episodes where I guess it started out me having periods when I was just over energetic, getting a couple of hours sleep, sometimes on the couch at work, sometimes not even going home. I think I found an old company T-shirt um, and slept in that. And the boss came in really early. Good morning. Oh, hi. Found me asleep on the sofa. I kind of 
woke up and had to shuffle off in my sleeping bag while I kind of watched a bit bemused. I'd get up, get dressed, go to the gym. The gym. I think I've got to get up to the next level. I've got to make the incline steeper. I've got to keep going. And then I'd work away in the morning, and at lunch times we often went to the gym. I've got to keep going. I've got to do more. I've got to go faster. I think I've got to get up to the next keep level. Going. Come back to work. So if you want to be doing your plan. Nobody usually needed to know where I'd be. I'd work quite happily during the afternoon. And, uh, you know, I was really productive at work for most of this time because, you know, I had loads of energy. I was getting heaps of things done. Just say, I'm just going to go to the gym for an hour, but afterwards I'll, I'll just meet you down the pub. It made sense. It made sense to keep going to the gym. I've got to keep going. I've got to do I'm more. Gonna I've got to go faster. I've got to get up. I've got to keep going. i just go back to work. Nobody's going to complain if you're putting in all the hours God sends. It's like there were two versions of me. So there's one person that continued as normal, that everybody could see and everything was like normal. And I was sort of separated out, almost like I was another person watching. And I kept wondering how on earth she could just continue on, how she could carry on, and nobody could see that actually she was complete fraud. That was how I felt, like I was a fraud and like anybody should be able to see that I was useless and I was worthless and I wasn't, there was no point to me. And so I got so angry that I actually wanted to kill this other person just so that everybody could see what the real me was feeling.